Ciao everybody, Mario here, and welcome to my channel. Today we're diving headfirst into the enchanting city of Pisa, Italy. Get ready to be wowed by stunning architecture, rich history, and maybe even a little bit of that Italian magic. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more travel adventures. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so you never miss a new video. Now, buckle up, grab a slice of pizza, or just imagine you are, I won't judge. And let's explore the top 5 must-visit spots in Pisa, Andiamo. Alright, let's be honest, you can't mention Pisa without picturing the iconic Leaning Tower, right? This tower is not just a building, it's a symbol of resilience and a testament to the unexpected twists and turns of history. This architectural wonder, and I use the term wonder loosely, has been defying gravity since the 12th century. Imagine the audacity of constructing such a grandiose structure, only to have it start leaning almost immediately. Yet it stands tall, or rather, leans proudly through the ages. Legend has it that the tower started tilting during its construction due to soft ground. The soil beneath was too unstable to support the weight, causing the foundation to sink unevenly. This unexpected tilt turned what was supposed to be a straightforward bell tower into a global curiosity. Now I'm no engineer but it seems to me they might have skipped a few steps in the foundation department. Can you imagine the looks on the builders' faces when they realized their masterpiece was leaning? Yet instead of abandoning the project, they persevered, and the result is a marvel that continues to captivate us. But hey, who am I to judge? The result is a quirky landmark that attracts millions of visitors each year, all trying to capture that perfect holding up the tower photo. It's become a rite of passage for travelers, a must-do on any trip to Italy, trust me, I've been there, done that, and even bought the t-shirt. The Leaning Tower of Pisa has a way of making you feel like a part of its story, even if just for a moment, but the Leaning Tower is more than just a funny photo op. It's a symbol of human ingenuity, a reminder that even our mistakes can become our greatest attractions. The tower's lean is a testament to the creativity and determination of those who built it and those who have worked tirelessly to preserve it. It's a testament to human ingenuity and the ability to find beauty in unexpected places. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is a perfect example of how something initially perceived as a flaw can become a beloved feature celebrated by people from all over the world. Plus, it makes for a great story at parties. Imagine telling your friends about the time you visited a tower that defies the laws of physics. It's a conversation starter, a piece of history that you can share with others. Did you know that the tower actually leans because of uneven settling of the foundation? It's true. The ground beneath the tower is a mix of sand, clay, and shells, which cause the foundation to settle unevenly. This uneven settling is what gives the tower its iconic lean. And over the centuries, it's actually straightened up a bit thanks to some clever engineering. Efforts to stabilize the tower have included removing soil from underneath the higher side and adding counterweights to the lower side. These measures have helped to reduce the lean and ensure the tower's stability. But don't worry, it's not going to topple over anytime soon. The tower is carefully monitored and reinforced to ensure it stays put for generations to come. Engineers have installed sensors to detect any movement, and regular maintenance is carried out to keep the tower safe. It's carefully monitored and reinforced to ensure it stays put for generations to come. The dedication to preserving this historical landmark is a testament to its importance and the love people have for it. So go ahead, strike a pose, and get that iconic photo. Whether you're pretending to hold it up or pushing it over, it's all part of the fun. The Leaning Tower of Pisa invites you to be a part of its story, to create your own memories with it. Just try not to push it over, okay? While the tower is stable, it's still a delicate balance that keeps it standing. So enjoy the moment, but remember to be gentle. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't let me back in if that happened. The Leaning Tower of Pisa is a place where history, engineering, and fun come together, creating an experience that is truly unforgettable. So next time you're in Pisa, take a moment to appreciate this incredible structure and the stories it holds.
Apple Watch, enjoy a picnic lunch, or just soak up the Italian sunshine. You might even spot a local artist capturing the scene on And let the magic of this place wash over you. Chapter 3, Pisa Cathedral, a masterpiece of marble and mosaics. Now let's step inside the breathtaking Pisa Cathedral, a true masterpiece of Romanesque architecture. This stunning cathedral is a sight to behold, with its intricate facades, soaring arches and dazzling mosaics. As you enter the cathedral take a moment to admire the massive bronze doors, each one depicting a scene from the life of Christ. And don't forget to look up. The ceiling is adorned with stunning gold leaf mosaics that will leave you speechless. One of my favorite features of the cathedral is the leaning columns inside. That's right, even the interior is a bit wonky. It's like the leaning tower decided to share its unique charm with the rest of the building. I guess you could say leaning is just in their DNA. Chapter 4. Campo Santo Monumentale. Where history rests. Peacefully, I hope. Our next stop is the Camposanto Monumental, a historic cemetery that's both beautiful and a little bit eerie. This walled cemetery is home to elaborate tombs, stunning frescoes, and well, a lot of history. Now I know what you're thinking, a cemetery? Really, Mario? But trust me on this one, the Camposanto Monumental is unlike any cemetery you've ever seen before. The cemetery is said to have been built on sacred soil brought back from the Holy Land during the Crusades. I'm not sure how they managed to transport that much dirt, but hey, it's a good story. As you wander through the peaceful grounds, you'll come across the tombs of noble families, famous artists, and even a few dogs. That's right, even our furry friends get a prime spot in this historic cemetery. Chapter 5. Borgo Stretto, get ready to shop till you drop, your euros that is. And for our final stop, let's take a stroll down Borgo Stretto, Pisa's most charming street. This picturesque street is not just a shopping destination, it's an experience in itself. The cobblestone pathways, the historic buildings, and the vibrant energy of the place make it a must-visit. This bustling street is lined with shops, cafes, and restaurants, making it the perfect place to soak up the local atmosphere. As you walk, you'll notice the blend of old and new, with modern boutiques nestled in centuries-old buildings. The aroma of freshly brewed coffee and baked pastries wafts through the air, inviting you to take a break and enjoy the moment. Whether you're looking for souvenirs, designer clothes, or just a delicious scoop of gelato, because you can never have too much gelato in Italy, you're sure to find it on Borgo Stretto. The variety of shops is astounding, from high-end fashion stores to quaint little souvenir shops where you can find unique trinkets to remember your trip by. I remember one time I was walking down Borgo Stretto and I saw this street performer juggling pizza dough. It was such a delightful surprise and added a touch of magic to the day. The street performers here are incredibly talented and bring an extra layer of entertainment to your shopping experience. And not just any pizza dough, but flaming pizza dough, it was amazing. The crowd gathered around, mesmerized by the skill and daring of the performer. It's moments like these that make Borgo Stretto more than just a shopping street. It's a place where memories are made. Of course, no trip to Borgo Stretto is complete without indulging in some delicious Italian food. The street is dotted with a variety of eateries, each offering a taste of authentic Italian cuisine. From traditional pasta dishes to gourmet pizzas, there's something to satisfy every palate. Grab a table at a sidewalk cafe, order a plate of pasta and a glass of wine and watch the world go by. There's something incredibly relaxing about sitting back and observing the hustle and bustle of the street, the locals going about their day, and tourists like yourself soaking in the beauty of Pisa. It's the perfect way to end your shopping adventure on Borgo Stretto. Outro! Arrivederci, Pisa! Until next time! Well, there you have it folks, my top 5 must-visit spots in Pisa, Italy. From the iconic Leaning Tower to the charming streets of Borgo Stretto, this city is full of surprises. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more travel adventures. And be sure to let me know in the comments below what your favorite part of Pisa is. 
Thanks for watching and remember, adventure is out there. Ciao for now.